Good morning, in this week's block news, Alan Rickman reads the latest Gutenberg review, one small but big improvement coming to the list view, an improvement on selecting text across multiple blocks is coming soon, a quick look at the most interesting block pattern I've seen so far, and finally the theme exporter gets an update. Let's get newsy. Time for block news. It's news about blocks. As you probably know if you're a subscriber to this channel, and if you're not, hit subscribe below to keep update with the latest Gutenberg news. As you probably know, I'm a huge fan of Gutenberg, but it's important to listen to other voices. So every week we check in on the Gutenberg reviews on WordPress.org. And here's the latest review, which is negative, but by the magic of AI, it's read for us once again by the brilliant Alan Rickman. Can we finally just get rid of this stuff? For years, now the majority of people dislike it and refuse to use it for the simple fact that it's inefficient, broken, confusing, annoying, and just a piss poor editor, especially with Elementor and Visual Composer nearby. Just to make this a plug or an ad for the few people who want it and let the rest of us alone. Thank you, Alan, for that incredibly dramatic ending to that review. What's also interesting about that review, and it's really common when you look at reviews on WordPress.org, is that somebody leaves a review and then somebody goes in to try and help out or get some more feedback, and then there's complete silence. So there's a really, and this is really, really common with reviews, especially around Gutenberg. So there's a terrible feedback loop at the moment with Gutenberg, which I'm gonna cover in a future video. The list view is getting a small but big improvement. So currently when you go to a page and you open up the list view, so the list view is this icon here and it shows you all the blocks you use on the page. So currently when you do that, all the blocks will be expanded out and it's a bit of a nightmare to manage. But now when you go to a page and you open the list view, let me just show you a single product page here. This is a WooCommerce single product page and if I click on the list view, can you see how now they're all contracted? So they'll only expand once you go into them. It's a small thing, but it's a very big thing because it's gonna make navigating around the blocks much easier for you. By the way, if you're a WooCommerce user and you want to test out full site editing and WooCommerce, I have put a link in the description which will fire you up a brand new website. It will automatically log you in with everything pre-installed and pre-configured so you can have a play with it. The writing experience in Gutenberg is about to get a little bit easier. On your screen, you can see what I'm talking about. So in the left-hand column, we're selecting text, but then we can't select text within each of those paragraph blocks and just delete that text. Coming soon though, in the right-hand column, we're doing the same thing, but now we can select text in two blocks and only delete the text that we've selected. Block patterns are pre-designed collections of blocks grouped together, so you can simply import them into your pages. There is a block pattern directory on wordpress.org where you can also submit your own, but there has been a spate of new block patterns and actually, I'm not going to show you one. I'm going to show you two block patterns today, which I think are really interesting, that you can then use some of these creative ideas on your own sites. And here they are. Here's the first example. What I like about this, and I'm going to show you how these are built in a second, is, and you see this in a lot of websites where you've got boxes, but they're actually going to the color above it. And the second one is really cute as well. This one here, where you've got this little bit of text here and then a little arrow there. And actually, they're both using the same principle. So let me show you this one go copy pattern and you literally just paste that into your page then the first thing I recommend you do is click on list view here and this will show you how that has actually been built so this is where you can learn from block pattern so what's really interesting about this is how they get that little change of uh, color down there and it's not by an image it's actually done by a gradient now I've seen the other block pattern I'm going to show you uses this same principle so they're actually using a cover block which is kind of cute for the background and then they've got a cover background a color overlay background and they've add, added that as a gradient. And then all they've done is added the linear gradient and set that as the angle. But you can see if I change the angle here, can you see how the, the gradient changes as well? So you can kind of experiment with the designs. And this one uses exactly the same principle to create this effect of boxes going into the space or the color above it. Let me show you list view on this one. Let's dive into the columns here. So if we go into each column, and go over here on the right and go to color and background. Can you see again, we set a gradient, but the key bit is linear and we want the angle. But you can see if I change the angle, how the gradient will change as well. So you can change around with those values and get some really interesting effects. And finally, something that I think might have the most profound impact on the theme marker, and that is the ability to export the full theme from your site. So there is a theme exporter built into Gutenberg, which lets you export the theme so you can add a theme to your site, 
change the design of it using Gutenberg, the styles and the layouts and the templates, and then export that as a brand new theme to use on another site. Now we had this before, but now it exports all the files that were in the existing theme. So we're one step closer to having a theme designer built into WordPress. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you can hit that like button now, it would be amazing because it really, really, really does help spread the word of the channel. I'm now approaching 5,000 subscribers, so thank you. Also, as you may know by now, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to keep up to date with all things Gutenberg, hit that subscribe button below. Next week's news might be a little bit late because I'm off to Spain for a few days and check out the forecast. <laughs> so thank you again for watching. Keep well and I'll see you soon.